Hello. I want to come on here and make a short video re regarding uh, spiritual gifts. <laughs> I've been um, re researching and reading about spiritual gifts, especially tongue speaking. And uh, I did go onto YouTube to look at some speaking in tongue stuff, but you know, it's, 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 it's um, out there. And it's pretty interesting because when I'm watching these tongue videos, then if it's authentic, and I start speaking along with them. And it's, it's a trip how the Holy Spirit does that. Even like, you know, I'm watching it and I could feel those who know what that feeling is like when the Holy Spirit is, you know, in you. And those who have the spiritual gift of speaking in other tongues um, knows what I'm speaking about, how the Holy Spirit, you just start speaking in tongues. And that's the Holy Spirit that was given to you. It's the baptism of that fire of the Holy Spirit. And um, I highly, you know, like, I don't, you know, it's, if it's the Lord's will, He would give you the gift of tongues, but ask him for it and see you know see what do you have to lose you know ask the lord hey abba god uh if it's your will how about the gift of tongue speaking lord because you know i watched this video they did a study on people um it was a scientific study on people speaking in tongues so obviously they had to have a body a vessel that speaks in tongues and so i assume they didn't say in the video that they stick those tabs with all the wires like EKG things and all that stuff whatever that's called <laughs> it's hooked up to whatever they do um, it was done in uh, University of Pennsylvania and they were saying that when one is in the spirit speaking praying in, in tongues and you're praying in the spirit that the front part of your brain goes dormant which is they didn't and then they didn't really elaborate what you know any more about it but there were and then oh but they also said too that when you're praying in the holy spirit in the tongue language then uh, that also increases your immune system from 40 percent to 50 percent i i just found that like huh interesting because i do know that after a prayer session with the lord um in the tongues yeah you do feel more like uh energize and you you know you just feel alive and he they also said that it'll make you it'll help you to be alive and more like bold and you know your stature is is more you know like confident and and uh he, and joyful too because inside it brings you that joy when you're praying in the prayer language um but there's videos of some people you know that i've seen they're praying in the tongues but there's no inter interpretation um, to it, it, but I still find that when I'm listening to it, it connects with my spirit, and I start just praying in tongues and and uh, singing along. Sometimes some of the videos they sing in tongues, and I'm I start singing too, and then it's like when they stop, I stop. It's like almost instant. It's like a trip, but I know that that's the power of the Holy Spirit. And to, to truly believe your faith, you know, you have to have that faith to, to recognize that that is the Holy Spirit's power. And the, that is the Holy Spirit. When there, Remember, though I'm not physically present with the person that I'm watching their video, speaking and praying and singing in tongues, when two or, two or more are gathered, the, you know, the Spirit, He's there with you. The Holy Spirit is that powerful that He can affect your spirit along with the other person, like bring them together, you know. Um, so I find it like comforting and to know, but you know, I know that the Apostle Paul said there it must be interpreted and, and you know, and stuff like that, but he also did say, Pray that you may have understanding to you know to be able to interpret it. First Corinthians chapter four, thirteen or fourteen, um, but it's still like something that the Lord has impressed on their heart to do, 
So they record a video of themselves speaking in tongues. We're in the end days. God is speaking to people. The prophet Joel recorded in 2.28, I will pour out my spirit in all flesh. So why not? If God's telling somebody to make a video of speaking in tongues, though there's no interpretation, and they're following the voice of the Lord, then wh why not? You know, um, they do it to obedience to the voice of the Lord. So, um, so, so when somebody's speaking it and you can't understand it, just think, you know, hey, this, this is their, that's their, um, what is it, uh, message or mission or, um, you know, Hopefully you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that's their task, you know. That's the job, the mission that the Lord's been given to them, and and the Lord is impressing it on my heart too. Because I think that if the church were to activate the spiritual gifts, imagine how strong and powerful um, the church can be. You know, I know people, you know, and even Christians alike, like say that. The, you know the the tongue speaking is you know is scary or or it's not for our our church or whatever we have order and it's sitting you know praying your regular church unlike a Pentecostal a apostolic type churches where well I haven't been into one I'm actually searching for one <laughs> one that prays that speaks in tongues and gives praises to the lord with tambourines and all that stuff that's how it was when i was a kid my mom got saved during the jesus movement in the 70s and i remember that as a kid um i'm looking for a church like that but i can't find one so i just you know just me and the lord you know i sing and pray in the spirit though and in tongues to him so i think that if one were to seek him and ask him he will give seek and and you will find so just call upon him, ask him for the gifts, spiritual gifts. There's tongues, there's visions, there's dreams, there's discernment, there's knowledge. The, the Lord gives all kinds of cool gifts. He's blessed me with the gifts of tongues. And uh, I want to read Psalms 23 in tongues. I, I, yeah, it's a trip. I could read scripture in tongues. Um, I just, you know, started, you know, in August 3rd is when I started speaking in tongues. And I was like kind of amazed that I can do that. And then not long after, I met somebody from a forum, um, one of those uh, forums about the end times. And we were messaging each other. And she told me that she reads her Bible in tongues. My confirmation to let me know I'm not crazy. and that Because it was all new to me back then. And right, the Lord sent people like almost lickety split my way to confirm things to me about the spiritual gifts that I've been ex doing, like experiencing, um, singing in tongues. Like, I know this sounds crazy, but the Doors, I, I like the Doors music, and I was listening to Waiting for the Sun, um, you know, when the Lord gave me the gift of tongues, and I was singing, you know, Waiting for the Sun, and then it went into tongues, like, it, waiting for the sun waiting for the sun that's what I just said in tongues like I was blown away like what the heck and uh, but nothing's impossible for God and then I met somebody again from a forum of you know end times or a pro this was I think prophecy and something a group page we were chit chatting about the spiritual gifts and she told me just out of the blue oh you know you can sing in, in in your tongue to you know some music. I'm like, that's exactly what I was doing. So, <laughs> the Lord has been blowing me away, and you know I speak the truth, and um, I know it's from the Lord. Because if it wasn't, um, I would know. the The Holy Spirit would let me know. You know, it can't be demonic, because if it, it was demonic. Um, I wouldn't experience God's presence, God's love, His joy. I wouldn't feel that that Holy Spirit feeling that you, that you get in your body that's like just consumes you. Um, and, and and the the you know if it was demonic, I wouldn't be praying you know to the Lord in tongues and stuff. But 
Some people call it, I've seen on videos that people are calling like tongue language, it's demonic. And how is it that, that they know these things, that it's demonic? And I know there's possibly, you know, um, imposters, people make believing in tongues, but one who has spiritual discernment will know the truth and the real authentic tongue speaking. So I want to read Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me besides the still waters. Verse 3. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Righteousness. For his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. God has through by the walk through I drew a shock to do stu to you. For crucial caricity. To a crossic, through stoosh, but cassicity be. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. You got put a sicky poker as a tetus to put for you. I had this a caricity to post acidicity. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Forever. So, you know, this is just, this is all new since August last year, 2020. Um, and I don't mock God, and I, I, I don't want to, I'm not, and I don't want to humiliate, be humiliated or, or be a fool. But what I'm full for the Lord's sake, you know, for Jesus. I'm a fool for Jesus, you know, like, like just. I love him, you know, like he, he's awesome. And I wouldn't do anything to discredit, you know, the spiritual gifts and and um, and myself too, you know, I speak the truth. And I, I know that the Lord, you know, he had me read Psalms 23 because the tongue speaking was interpreted. I read in English, I did in tongues, there's your interpretation, so you understand. It's not like I'm just and no understanding. But there has to be understanding, you know, if it's going to, you know, be in a church, like a church, you know, you need an interpreter. But this is free through the airwaves. Through the airwaves, it's not a church. The Lord spreading the message, spreading. A testimony of his power, his wonderful gifts, his supernatural spiritual gifts that he gives to believers. For those who don't believe, it's like a sign. You're like, what? What's There's a lot of people are into the supernatural. So why not the supernatural works of God? The, you know, God, God the creator. Not just some God lowercase g. No, the God, uppercase g. If those who are are spiritual, why not? People go out on, you know, ghost hunting and all that, looking for spiritual stuff, you know? Like, no, why don't you seek the true, real spiritual stuff? But they go the opposite way and search the darkness, the dark spiritual, the things that aren't of God. When people seek the things of God from their heart, he will make himself known. So, I want to read one more. 
and it is Psalms 18. I will love you, O Lord, my strength, my rock. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the strength of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. I just want to leave you with that. The Lord's your rock and he's your strength. Those who need strength, call upon the Lord and he'll renew you, give you strength. Until next time, much love to you in Jesus Christ and his soon coming. I'll see you all in the clouds. But before I leave, quick prayer. Lord, touch these people on the YouTube, Lord. Speak to them, Lord, through the Holy Spirit, Father God. Open up the eyes and the hearts of the unbelievers to come to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.